What's up gamers, I'm Shika Singh back with another Gaming Zone video. So today I'll be starting the video by asking you a basic, easy, simple question. Like what was your idea when you uh, started playing Web3 games? What did you have in your mind? See, I can tell you uh, that my idea of playing Web3 games was to have a little bit of fun because obviously you need a breather in your daily grind. Plus, if you're getting paid for playing easy games, that itself acts as a bonus. And similar to what I think, people in Iran have started playing hamster combat. Yes, you heard that right. The same game that has a player base larger than the population of Russia. Yup. Players of the popular telegram based crypto game Hamster Combat have sold to 150 million, more than Russia's 144 million population. That's what Hamster Combat claimed. The number represents a 50% jump from just a week earlier when the game celebrated reaching 100 million users. So just in case you don't know, Hamster Combat is a clicker game in which you click on the screen and earn hamster tokens. And the more you tap, the more you earn and the game is easily available on Telegram. So cab drivers and bikers in Iran tap away furiously on their mobile phones as they wait at red lights in Iranian capital Tehran during an early June heatwave. Some pedestrians in Tehran are doing the same and they all believe that they could get rich by playing hamster combat. One of the reasons why this game has gained traction in Iran is because uh, Iran highlights a harsher truth facing the Islamic Republic ahead of fi Friday's presidential election to replace late President Ibrahim Raisi. The economy is hobbled by Western sanctions, stubbornly high inflation and a lack of jobs. Iranians who have been hearing for years about Bitcoin are now piling up into this game out of sheer hope that it might one day pay off without knowing much about it or who is behind the game. To put Iran's economic uh, problems into sharper perspective, the current exchange rate uh, is 1 US dollar to 42,000 Iranian real. People in Iran are literally struggling to fulfill their daily needs like prices of fruits and vegetables have jumped 50% since last year while the price of meat has risen 70%. The cost of a ride in a shared taxi, a common in the Iran capital, has almost doubled. However, officials and authorities in Iran are not uh, so impressed by this game. For instance, Habibullah Sayari, the deputy chief of Iran's military, described the app as part of the West's soft war against Iran's theocracy ahead of the election. He theorized that the enemy is popularizing the game so that people uh, would be distracted and not pay attention to the plans of presidential candidates. Hardline pundits in Iran have voiced similar opinions. The Daily Jam Jam, uh, published by Iran's uh, state television, warned the ever-increasing interest in the game was a sign of the dream of becoming rich overnight and gaining wealth without effort. They believe that the game is making the citizen in Iran lazy. They also published that players of this game range from builders, mechanics, refrigerator repairmen to colleagues and classmates in, u in university. Iran isn't alone in having concerns about the game. Uh, authorities in Ukraine locked in a devastating uh, war with Iranian-armed Russia since Moscow's 2022 invasion warned that users' data remains stored in Russia and could potentially put them at risk. There is a wider risk of malware uh, exposure as consumers in Iran often cannot purchase new software legally or even access legitimate app stores. See, while there's a lot of negative news surrounding this game, let us also not forget the positive sentiments surrounding this game. Like uh, Amir Rashidi, the director of uh, digital rights and uh, security in the Mian group, who is an expert on Iran, uh, said that it's about trying to hang on to anything you have, a tiny hope that might someday turn into something valuable. Plus, let's not also forget how Philippines, uh, cities in Philippines have literally dedicated cyber cafes for war, uh, Web3 gamers and one of the main reasons why uh, people in Philippines are engaging themselves in Web3 gaming as a livelihood opportunity is because these tokens offer steady income that's, uh, that is significantly higher than the national uh, minimum wage and may be exchanged for local currency and often players convert their uh, tokens to pesos and the country's currency earning around twice the country's minimum wage of $11 a day. Well, that's all in today's special segment. We will keep you updated with more such interesting updates. And then keep watching 3 TV. Do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do log on to the website www.3verstv.io or scan the QR code to know more.